Sammy Sosa, Faso, a freshman, going up against the senior, Pat Lugo. Everybody was waiting for Sammy Sasso to come out of his registered gear. And they met in Iowa City. It was a great match here, Pat Lugo. And you take a look at Lugo seemed to be in on good positions all throughout the course of the match. He almost was able to take uh, Sasso down in this position. But watch that elevation right here. It's going to elevate the inside leg and cut the bottom leg through here and get square. Sasso has just been a magician in being able to stop guys from being able to score on them. They're almost 99% the way there. Almost a cradle locked in this position. He fights this one off with the flexibility, brings his head hand over the top of the head right now, right at the end of the match here. That's where they go into overtime here. But Sasso is a bit of a magician. The only loss of the year for Lugo has been against Sammy Sasso and Carver. And Sasso is the number one seed for that win. He comes through. Hard fought win over Yaya Thomas from Northwestern in the first round. Then he throws a shutout against Kanan Store. Lugo comes up from the second seed, beats us game breaking lead, and here they are in the championship. We've had three weight classes, three champs from three different schools. Well, one school is going to get their second Big Ten champion as the Ohio State University Buckeyes go against up the Iowa Hawkeyes, Sammy Sasso. Again, no takedown in the last match between these two. Here you, you see hey. Pat Lugo luck, sporting the uh, Sorensen Strong bandana. Of course, supporting, supporting their teammate, uh, Brandon Sorensen, who is, is diagnosed with acute lymphoblastic leukemia in He'll November join us, on right? Thanksgiving weekend. And what support that four-time All-American for the Hawkeyes is getting from this wrestling we wish him the best as he watches his teammates go for the big 10 championship we're thinking of you praying for you there you go and love you Come on in, brandon Sorensen. and now his weight on, class 149 that he man for iowa pat lugo has had the last two years since center, transferring guys. from edinburgh from Homestead, Florida, was a two-time state champion at South Dade High School. Stay right there and work. Don't come out of that set. through Edinburgh, where he was a round of 12 guy, but never an All-American, but got on the podium last year for the Hawkeyes. And he's showed up this season, you know, prepared and ready for the beginning of the season, which I think was a little bit of an adjustment here coming into the Iowa program. Love watching Pat Lugo work off that left-handed underhook right there. He does a great job Stay with that. Head, That's how gentlemen. some of the offense he was able to create in that match. Look for him to live in that position as much as possible. He does a great job of working the head. Really a tough out when he decides not to get scored on. Lugo, Action. I mean, he's, he can be, you know, devastating. And what's improved, I think, in his game over the course of this season has been his ability in the top position. Sasso is just a gamer and a, and so a winner. Work with that. And a guy who's been used to winning in the high school level. Tremendous flexibility, mad awareness, can go up top with you, can attack below the knee, and just tremendous defense. He says, I want to bring the heat every time. I want to be a dog and score points. He's out of the tough Nazareth, Pennsylvania, Lehigh Valley area where wrestling's been a way of life for years and years and years. Well, he's the teammate that you want to take on the road trip with you. He's not going to be intimidated by any environment. That, that uh, trip that they took to Carver, they went from there to Minnesota and uh, picked up a win against uh, uh, Brayton Lee in a hostile environment. Again, he loved having those teammates that are not going to go out there and Work be center, intimidated. The youngsters out there battling with the toughest guys in the country. And that this is great position for Lugo with that double underhook. Let's see what he works that. off of it. He's able to shrug it by. He's able to get the takedown right there. Great execution by Pat Lugo for the first score. Got that double underhook. Was able to shrug it right by. Again, didn't settle for just one. Got both of them and, and able to go ahead and Still attack in. at the hips and not be able to, you know, not messing around with below the knee where, where Sasso can you know, be flexible and, and get out of those positions. And I think you mentioned it, but Lugo has really improved on his finishing skin no this last center. year. Yeah, no Ohio question about it. Out. He's improved at all levels, particularly the top position and, and, and also with those finishes. And, you know, 45 seconds left. I'm he's well coached. Right? He is well coached Ohio because get set. what do you do with the guy that can scramble and roll around set, with you? You don't attack Iowa, below easy. the knee. You go right at the hips, and that's what, no, he, that that's, that's what he did off. That's the adjustment that he made. You're down. And, uh, 
Well done. Wait for the whistle. It's a game of inches Cover with up, these I two. And uh, the first score by Lugo is a big, big deal. Now you Is talked about the other place that, that he good? has improved right, on. on his Easy. on top here already 25 seconds of riding time a lot of pressure covering the fingers good work there that is the difference but he looks like Sammy lost his footing there right at the edge of the mat he wants to work himself back in fight hands and being able to get out, quick break, escapes break, 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 break. has been a factor and how he was able to win in overtime. He got the ride That's out right. in the last match. 26 seconds, guys. Again, with 26, 26 seconds, seconds left, you're going to you're going to forego a stall warning here out, if, you, if, if you're if Ohio you're Lugo. Cover, of course, you don't want to get one, but you want to stay in the top position. Warnings for points is a good exchange. Good mat return by Lugo. Sammy coming back up to his feet. Trying to keep some hip separation. Big, big score and ride out for the first period. Ending the period on top. Out, break, 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 break. Wow. Yeah, they're gonna go off the mat with three, three seconds, seconds left. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But you notice how he's sealing his down. chest to those, 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 uh, the, the lower part of his three back and his down. hips on those mat three returns. Again, he's a little bit you're on. Shorter than his opponent, so we do that pretty easily, but he's really tight. Break. Yeah, let's take a look at the Lugo takedown here from the double underhook Break. here. Now he gets that position, Defers. chucks it Three. by, but gets tight to the hips and keeps working and, and uh, almost like a, uh, his footwork there was almost like a fencer. Down. There's dad and mom. Patricio right, and Julie. Julie, bottom get right, Patricio. I'm gonna tell you when to get on, Ohio Pat State. Lugo, his namesake, that's his name as well. And Patricio has a set of guns. Okay. Boy, that's some nice looking <laughs> biceps I'm there, give man. You time to get set. Let's go. <laughs> looking good. Matching Put it on here. On tattoos there and a family tradition coming up from Florida by way of Edinburgh and been a Hawkeye now for three years, a red shirt year. And two at this weight class, 149. And so a brick has been thrown in this match, and it looks like uh, Kurt Frost and Joe Tauber, the head official, or the lead official here on this situation. And the point of emphasis this season is that the outside official can make calls, and they're going to go ahead and, and offer up a caution, I believe. Yeah, no brick. They, yeah. they kept them from throwing it because the officials made the... Uh, call okay. themselves and so it's a caution We're I think good? it was at the yeah. hand on the elbow and Sasso may not have had, had the hand on the elbow and, and, and that's what time. that side official is supposed to be doing is looking at the uh, get a good angle as to what the uh, caution may be and so he's going to go over and explain that call to uh, Ohio State corner to say take a look at that restart Yeah, he wasn't on the elbow, on the right elbow right there. You get, your right hand has to be on the right elbow there if you're going to get off on the right side. Good, good catch by outside official Kurt Frost. Ryan Morningstar give you time. pointing to what happened. Kurt Frost saw it. Oh, now there's a caution on Pat Lugo. Jump the gun. Each wrestler with one caution. You get two before you're assessed a point. I like what Lugo's doing there, though. See how he's keeping his elbows in and his wrists out, right? I'm gonna You're going to block down those okay. pockets between your, right, your thigh and, and your tricep. Make it difficult for a leg to come in. See how that right leg's coming in? And you can just tell a little, uh, uh, you know, scouting, closing down those windows as we talk about with your techniques that, that where you've seen the wrestler before, you look at the film. Sasso now has that near leg hook. That's where he likes to live. A lot like the claw, and he likes to get that claw like Gross does. And he also comes over the top with that right knee. See that right knee coming over the top? And Lugo working hard to, to cover fingers, okay? Both you can cover working. fingers four at a time in this sport and peel them off. But this is a good, good work here by Sasso. He's already amassed about 20... 
I think she's bringing the riding time right. down. Yeah, so. Both men working. Down to 20. They're still in. Good, tough ride by Sammy Sasso, the red shirt freshman. He's also a black shirt. Only four on no, the team. No, go back in, no change. Bring her down. And they give the black shirt to some wrestler who showed been consistent, a competitor in all of life. They bring it every day to the mat, the classroom, and socially, like Tom Ryan says, Get they're that. a savage oh, in life. And yeah, there's Fletcher that. and Moore, Sasso, and Evan Smith, I know, have received the black shirt this year in the Buckeye room. That's yeah, Sasso trying to sag back down around the corner there. Lugo was almost on his feet, but you can see the great job that he was able Both to go working. ahead and just kind of swing around like you're swinging, holding on to a merry-go-round in that situation. This Dropped is quite an hips. answer yeah. right here by Sasso as far as the ride on top, the pressure carrying his weight. Yeah, and if you see what he's doing, he's now he's sagging over, now a decent mat return, now you catch him on his hip, and now you're in business so maybe to close out the period. Not much real estate to work with. If you're coaching Sasso, you want to, uh, want, uh, Lugo, you want him to get a new start. My call on that was always ditch it, ditch it, ditch it, right? And then the cradle, and I'll tell you what, with Jay Jaggers in the corner in the room every day, you want to watch out for any of his wrestlers that slap the cradle on. And he does a fantastic job of, of teaching that technique, but good answering period here for okay, Sasso. Sure, Take a look at Mr. March here for the Buckeyes, a guy that didn't always get it done during the regular season, but uh, two-time NCAA champion oh, on your left there, Jay Jaggers. Gentlemen, third period scores 2-0. You've got 48 seconds of riding Mr. time Mr. March. <laughs> I think you'd like that. All right, get set, Ohio State. I'm going to tell you when to get on, you understand? All right, Sammy Sasso goes down set. underneath. Let's go, easy. And after the takedown early by Pat Lugo, Lugo was able to ride out the period, get more than a minute of riding time. Now that's all gone after Sasso rode for two minutes of the second period. Like I said, this is a game of inches between these two. Sasso on his feet, working hard. So Able to come so with the wizard. So really doesn't make too much difference. The riding time coming down. Lugo coming no, hard and staying with it. But they're gonna one point escape there for I'm Sasso. Gonna I'm gonna look at it. They're going to go look. He called the one. Iowa corner does not like the call. They believe that Pat Lugo still had the underhooks and the, and the lock. I think he did, too. I think that my impression from this angle was that he was all the way around the waist with that, around the backbone. That's what you're, you're guiding that. So, yep. You're down. Free Joe Topper took a quick look at it and put uh, Sasso back down. It's a great so, call. No escape. Get set. Point off the board. 2-0, still the score. You're on, Riding Iowa. time not in effect right now. A minute and a half left in regulation. The top man, the Hawkeye, Pat Lugo, leads 2-0. If he had a takedown and a ride out in the first period. Sasso had a ride out in the second period. Now he's trying to get out and score his first points of the match. Well, he, what he, what he, he wants to keep him down as long as possible. So he's going to get warned for stalling and also collect the points. So that's kind of a bad sequence there for Lugo. So because a, a now a stall warning will tie the match. So a warning on Lugo for stalling and the escape by Sasso. One minute, John. These are the th things, Tim, that you, you drill on in championship wrestling. You want to go out there and win a championship. You've got to decide what's going to be your go-to technique down by one against tough wrestlers. And it could, could be a Lugo digging for his Both underhooks. Again, too early for him to shut down his offense. He might 40. find the ideal technique, an ideal feel. It's a great time to get on his offense while Sasso's trying to figure out what he's doing. 30 seconds left. You talked about it. What's Sasso's go-to move here? The end of the regulation, down two to one. Take down on a right out would win. Neutral. Hips defense by Lugo, fends off the attack by Sasso. Runs that underhook. Working, the left-handed underhook working. is his friend in this situation. Sasso drops Neutral. back in, settles back. Neutral. Neutral. Trying to finish it off. Doesn't have much time. Neutral. 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 No points. Well, they, they're obviously, Quick. well, Tim, they're going to basically see if there was a count there because he was past 90 for at least two seconds. 
and it has to be three to get the points. So referees will take a look at this position, and I don't even think that they'll have to. I think they wanted to do it anyway. And looking at the danger zone, whether uh, he should have gotten two for being in the danger zone. A great finish here by Sasso as he creates a little bit of hip separation with the turn, right? And one, two. I, I think he was has a case for looking at that as past. Got to be past 90 degrees for three seconds. You can make a case for it there, there, and there. Call confirmed. And your Big Ten champion, the second Hawkeye to win a championship today, Pat Lugo, avenges his Take only loss ball. of the well year done. to Sammy Sasso. Great fight. Well, Pat Lugo, the Big Ten champion. Yeah, two, two, uh, got to be happy for Lugo and the effort that he put in there. Let's take a look at the winning takedown that he was able to get in the first period. Again, off that double underhook. The adjustment that he made, he didn't want to go low, attack the hips, right? He's drive through, rotate the upper body, drive through, shuffles his feet, attacks. That was the difference. And Patricio's awful happy. And let's go to young Patricio, who's with Shane. All right, Pat, you don't play Russell. It's a fight in front of the world. Where was that fight won? On my feet and a little bit of scrambling at the end. She never got it there. She never gave up that stall call. But you know, at the end of the day, I got my hand raised. That's what matters most. You're a Big Ten champion. You've had a phenomenal season, just the one loss. Now you've avenged it. What have you learned about yourself this season? I learned that wrestling is 90% mental. You know, you could be the best guy in shape at your weight class, but if you don't got that mentality going into your match, you're going to get tired real quick. So, um, strong mentality. Yeah. Congratulations. Pat Lugo gives the Hawkeyes their 202nd Big Ten individual title.